dude, where are you going? Hey, yo. Bro, your head. What? What the? That's creepy. Hey, what is up guys, Brandon here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Minecraft Pocket Edition mod showcase, and it's been a while since I've recorded in general, so naturally it's been a while since I've recorded a mod showcase, so I might be a little rusty, but besides that, let's get right into it. So today the mod that we're going to be reviewing is a spin-off of the Pixelmon mod for Minecraft PC, and this one is called Pokedroid PE. You should see it on my screen right now. But, um... One thing that's a little special about this mod is that it's actually a separate app. So in order to use this mod, naturally you're going to need Android. And in addition to that, you're going to need to download this mod and have Block Launcher. So first off, you just want to open up the Google Play Store. And you want to search up Pokedroid PE. It's by Icy Melon Studios. And from there, you just want to download it. So this is compatible with the latest version of Minecraft. And it's a pretty cool mod. It adds, it says over here that it adds over 50 Pokemon. They have specific sounds for each Pokemon, they even have a capture system for Pokeballs. Uh, they do have Pokemon inventories, new items, blocks, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So what you want to do first off is once the app downloads, you want to open it up. And then you just want to click play. And then you want to click install mod. So now this should go through, a lot of ads do pop up, so just X out of those. And then install the mod, it'll take a little while to load, but uh, it already I already installed it. But once you do click load, it'll open up Block Launcher. And when it shows up the textures.zip and the mod.zip, you just want to click import. So do that for both of them. And then you should be good. So then you can just click, um, whoops, another add. You just ignore those. Now you want to click play, and then you just want to click launch once you have it installed. So this should switch you over to Block Launcher. Probably open up another ad as well. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. Why? There we go. Another ad. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, whatever, you guys should, you guys can just open up Block Launcher, you don't have to go specifically through that. You just open up Block Launcher, click on this little wrench, Manage Mod PE Scripts. Just make sure that you have this one enabled, it should be script.js. So once you do, exit out. And you can, I would suggest actually creating a new world, so we'll just call this one, is it Pokedroid? Yeah, Pokedroid. And then I'm gonna go Survival. And we're just going to create world. So it'll build terrain. And what do you know? Up pops a little loading screen that says, Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Please choose your first Pokemon carefully. So this is the first generation, the Kanto region. For those of you guys who are Pokemon fans, you guys will probably really like this mod. So we can choose between Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Now, Charmander has always been my favorite, so I'm going to choose him. So you spawn in, and first off, you have your Charmander in your inventory slot, if you can see on the left side. You also have a little save menu to just sort of save your game. And you also spawn in with a Pokedex, a healer, a PC, 10 Pokeballs, 6 Great Balls, and 4 Ultra Balls. So now, if I want to throw my Charmander out, it does that. And there is supposed to be a little noise. I don't know if it's working. I don't think I have my sounds in Oh, there we go. So, it does make a little sound when you throw Charmander out. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And uh, he does make a sound if you, like, punch him. Okay, maybe Charmander doesn't, but I know some of the Pokemon do. Voltorb. There you go. See, Voltorb makes a sound. And, uh, yeah, you guys can just go around catching all the Pokemon. So, like, I don't really want a Voltorb. I don't like Voltorb. Oh, and something pretty cool is with Charmander. There, like, is no distance relation thingy, so you can throw out your Charmander and run as far away as you want. And then return. One thing that I don't really like about this mod, or that's sort of limited, is that um, you can't battle. Like, if I like, give a Sudobudo, I throw out my Charmander at it, you, you can Venusaur. Ooh, Venusaur. I want one. Uh, so this does actually add a lot. It is a, um, okay, let's see if we can catch it. Come on. <gasps> I caught the Venusaur. Wait, I caught a level 67 Venusaur. Guys, that's amazing. Um, you can also... Okay. It's a Krabby. So one thing that you can do is get the Pokedex in addition and just tap them. And it'll pull it up in the chat. Uh, the thing does kind of block it, but for Krabby it says, 
If it senses danger approaching, it cloaks itself with bubbles from its mouth so it will look bigger. So that's pretty cool. Sudowoodo, I think, it hates water. Yeah, although it always pretends to be a tree, its composition appears more similar to a rock than to vegetation. Now, in addition to this, we have these things. I forget what they're called. I think they're called apricorns. No, I forget what they're called. Red apricorn, yeah. So, um, apricorn trees do spawn naturally throughout your world. And if you guys are wondering what an apricorn is, uh, I will explain more once I go into the creative menu. Or not the creative menu, but the mod menu. So I have too many items installed, just so I could sort of uh, explain what does what. So this is very similar to the Pixelmon mod, so if any of you guys watched um, Beijing Canadian, and Jerome ASFs, or Husky Mudkips, or any of those guys with their series, then you'll kind of know what this is about. I did, so I actually have a pretty thorough understanding of this mod. So over here you can get apricorns, they have black, white, red, etc, etc. And then we have this new item called the Hammer. So in order to make the Pokeballs, they don't spawn naturally. You spawn in with them, but you're eventually going to run out. So I don't know if this mod has this implemented yet. But what you're going to want to do is, once you get the Apricorns, you use a hammer. And from there, you're able to make the Pokeball lids, the top like this. How it says like Pokeball Disc, Great Ball Disc, Ultra Ball Disc, Master Ball Disc. So like to create an Ultra Ball, I think you need two yellow and one black. Or then... um. I think you need to make them cooked, I'm not sure, I forget that part. And then you need to craft a base which is out of iron, and then from there you combine them to make a Pokeball that is with a button. So I'm not sure if they have this implemented into the crafting recipes. I don't believe they do. Like, I honestly don't think they do. But uh, that is something that the mod maker could add in the future, just because it, it would be- Oh god, that's a Rattata. You are very loud. Okay. So that is something that I think the mod maker is trying to add with um, the crafting recipes and things like that. So that'll make it a lot easier and a lot um, more fun to play because as of now, there is no battling, there's no crafting, things like that. So it will be quite difficult to do a mod, or not a mod showcase, but rather a, um, a let's play of it. But if the mod maker does add that, then I'll be sure to do that. In addition, we have the healer to heal your Pokemon and the PC to store them. Um, oh, I placed the PC backwards. Here we go. So they do make sounds. So if any of you guys have played the Pokemon games, then those sounds will be very familiar to you guys. But other than that, uh, they don't really work. They don't really do anything. Just because the healer doesn't work because you can't battle in the first place. That is a Pikachu. I want a Pikachu. Everyone's favorite. I'm gonna catch this Pikachu. Come on. Ugh, you. Want you. Something I find really funny is you throw them in the Pokeball and then the Pokeball just keeps moving around. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just throw my Ultra Ball in mine. And then, you know, the Pokeball would just start moving around, which I find really funny. Oh my god, Pikachu. Are you. I caught a level. Okay, good. I caught the Pikachu. As you can see, it's on the left side, so if it does succeed, the Pokemon will immediately appear on the left side of the screen. Oh, I'm lagging. Yeah, I got a little lag spike when I load a new chunk, and that's why. Okay, good. I was hoping to find that. Growlithe. Oh, I love Growlithe. What? You are in a block. I want you. Actually, no, I'm gonna look on Ar Arcanine. That's Growlithe's evolved form. But, um, this is why it lagged, guys. Oh, it's also pretty cool because you have some flying Pokemon, too. So there's a Ghastly up there. I believe that's a Zubat up in the distance. But this is why sometimes your chunks lag, because a Pokemon Center will spawn in. So you just kind of walk in. There's a little table over here. A PC that doesn't work. Some bookshelves and a healer. I believe you know you can just kind of stand over there. You know, just be a nurse joy. Be like, oh, here are your Pokemon for you. Blah blah blah, etc. I believe this is modeled after the. Oh boy, I think this is the Hoenn one because I do always remember there being a chair and then bookshelves in um, Emerald Ruby Sapphire, but I do not know. Ghastly. I think that's a Weeping Bell. Yeah, those are Weeping Bells in the distance. Yeah, I, I know a lot about Pokemon. I've played it a lot. I've logged easily 800 hours in the games, which is not something I should be proud of, but whatever it happened. And I want this Growlithe. Come here. So, in addition to the uh, Pokeball Ultra Ball Great Ball, there is actually one additional ball that I'm going to use now because Growlithe is being difficult. There is a Master Ball. So these Master Balls will catch anything without fail, so 
Thank you, Growlithe. You are mine now. And, uh, yeah, those are pretty cool. You can actually craft them once he adds that. But, uh, yeah. Finally, the, um... I don't even know if I should show this feature or not. You know what? I will. Might as well. Okay, so let's go into the menu. And where's the thingies that I need? I need a bow. And I need arrows. So you guys can probably guess what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that, if you guys can guess what I'm doing, I won't shoot the ground. That's, that's me. I will shoot the gas. Or the weeping bell. Nobody likes weeping bell. But you can shoot the Pokemon. <laughs> you you can shoot the Pokemon, guys. So, um, yeah, if one of your Pokemon kind of, like, annoys you or something, shoot it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was a cool little thing that they added because I was curious. So I pulled out a bow and I shot it, and what do you know, the Pokemon got hurt. And it, it made me laugh a lot. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we have some Bellsprout over here. And, uh, one final thing that I actually noticed about the mod that I thought was pretty cool is... The Pokemon, I believe, are actually specific per biome, so, you know, certain Pokemon will spawn in the desert biome, certain Pokemon will spawn into the forest biome, plains, etc, etc. Like, so far, we've encountered no ice Pokemon just because we're not in the snow biome. So I just thought that was fairly cool. thought it was a nice idea. Oh, we might have a Pokemon Center. I just thought that was a um, nice, cool addition that the mod maker added, and that if this is playable... Oh, why is a Magikarp here? That is the scariest sound I've ever heard. But, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, a level- There is a level 68 Magikarp. Like, dude, why aren't you a Gyarados? Is that a Vileplume? No, that's a Venusaur. It's a Venusaur. I have one of you. I want more Pokemon to catch. Psyduck! Oh god, that's annoying. I don't like Psyduck. Anyways! So yeah, getting off topic here, but, uh, yeah, the mod maker added that. I thought it was really cool, and that's basically about it that's in the mod. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. We're running into a lot of Rattata here. Oh, another little lag spike as the next chunk loads. So, yeah, as each chunk loads, it sort of lags just so they can spawn in the Pokemon, spawn in any structures, etc. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. So, if you guys did, then make sure to drop a like down below. And, uh, comment what your guys' favorite Pokemon is and, uh, anything that you want the mod maker to add. And, uh, yeah, that's basically about it. And... I'll see you guys later in another video. So, uh, yeah, peace out, guys.